Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Review UK. My name is Michael Jameson and today we're reviewing Sicario. At least I believe that's how it's pronounced. I was fortunate enough in obtaining some tickets from Den of Geek who did a special preview screening. Although I believe the movie actually comes out today or yesterday in America. And it's out in the UK on the 9th of October. 8th actually, it's out on the 8th of October. Anyway, it's a thriller. Action-y, thrillery, drug, amazing. Starring Emily Blunt, Benicio Del Toro and Josh Brolin, amongst others. Now let's talk about the cast. Absolutely tremendous. Uh, amazing cast. Emily Blunt's character is superb. Possibly my favourite portrayal from her. And I think her recent film choices have been absolutely amazing. Like this and Edge of Time. Is it called Edge of Time? Definitely not called Edge of Time. Edge of Tomorrow, yeah, that's right. Yeah, is it? Movie reviewer. Don't know Have movies. You a year ago today? Went to America a year ago today. So that's annoying. Uh. So the film focuses on Emily Blunt's character, who is an FBI agent, and the film opens up in a very tense scene involving a FBI raid of a house. And it's very dark. There's some very grotesque imagery in the film, and a lot of violence, which is good as a twenty-something male. I do enjoy violence, unfortunately. But this is all uh, fairly tastefully done, I suppose. The extended cast as well is just uh, fantastic and adds to the overall experience. Uh, though there are the odd cliches along the way, uh, cliched relationships, responses, and uh, typical kind of military, police, FBI, whatever characters, it's all done in such a sharp, and very visually stunning way that this feels like a very special film, a very unique film. As I say, the cinematography is beautiful. There are specific shots that I can think of, uh, like there's a shot involving a sunset and uh, military personnel disappearing into the silhouettes. It's absolutely incredible. Like it is actually stunning. Like I, I could, like I was like, this is beautiful, and I could uh, see the people next to me. I, I, I think visually also. Just looking at the screen, taking in the beauty, it was something else. And another thing that I noticed about the how the movie was shot, which was amazing, that I certainly haven't consciously noticed before, or that I think is certainly definitely not in many films, is these quite panned out but intense highway shots, or not highway shots, overhead bird's eye shots of basically car chases or vehicle movements. And they had this, for me it gave it like a sense of enormity, but also focus. Like it was, it was kind of like a medium length. You could see everything and you could see the uh, fast paceness and the action of the actual vehicles moving. But then the extended community that this may be affecting in the area. And I just thought that whole thing was just like, I was like, wow, this, this, this film is so well shot. This, this like, is such an awesome thing to see. And on that point, like some of the vehicle scenes, uh, particularly one scene involving things that I won't spoil, absolutely made like so tense. Like there is one scene in this film, there's well, there's many scenes in this film that are incredible, but this this one scene is so tense and so good. I was like, this is what this is one of the best scenes I've seen recently. Benicio del Toro's character is a large focus of the film. He is actually quite terrifying. He's mysterious. He has a shady past, we're never quite too sure much about him, nor is Emily Blunt's character. And he, again, he stars in some of the film's most intense scenes. I really enjoyed the plot, it's not necessarily twisty or anything like that, it's just a, a decent, solid plot with decent locations and yeah, just awesome imagery. I'm not familiar with the director Dennis Villeneuve. Definitely pronounced all of that wrong, but I'm not familiar with him But I'm certainly intrigued and interested to see some of his other films He did Prisoners, which I was interested in seeing but now will actively make it a priority after seeing this movie It really was so enthralling. It was tense. It was action-packed I felt nervous for so much of it. My heart was racing throughout the film. It's Man, it's it's just so powerful and it's so thrilling and energetic and really, really, really intense. It's quite an exhausting film because you do go through all of these emotions, but of course that means it has an impact and it means it's a good movie. It's, yeah, it's absolutely tremendous. It is 
definitely a must see. Like, you do actually have to see this film. That's a weird accent. Yeah, you no, you really do you have to see this film. I'm probably gonna go and see it again. I really wanna take Claire. I thought it was incredible. Uh, I could criticize very little. Had everything that I would want from a film. Good plot, good action, thrilling, amazing, amazing cast. It's great to see another strong female character in a movie because there just aren't enough of them. Yeah, and it's just awesome. Just absolutely awesome. Give a high nine out of 10. There we have it guys, definitely check out Sicario when it comes out or in your region, if it is already out, go and see it. If you have seen it, let me know in the comments, I'd be interested to hear from you. If you think I'm interesting, check out my comedy channel, Michael Jameson Comedy, and subscribe for more videos.